All right. So we had a pretty decent snow this last week here in Colorado. Still melting off because it hasn't really gained a lot of temperature. Uh, so, of course, so much junk in the back of the station wagon. Oh, dang. Just broke a nail. Oh, that stinks. I just broke it. Oh, well. Guess I'll have to trim it off. So, the station wagon is kind of cool. The 69 Nomad. And uh, for those of you who think, well, if they didn't make a Nomad in 69, there's my original fender badging Nomad. So, it's originally. 307 car Nomad It's the uh, Basically a Chevelle station wagon. It's pretty beat up. I Had this car when I was in the Navy Put together a motor with my father eh, 355 We ran it down in Carlsbad at the drag strip out in California when I was in the Navy and I think Best time on it was 14.6 something at like almost 97 through the traps, which for as big a car as it is, so much glass is in it. And then having an open differential 273 rear gear. And of course at the time I had a 204R transmission in it. Um, that was pretty, pretty respectable I would say. Uh, so here's the cool part, roll the window down, reach in, there's a handle in here. And uh, tailgate will swing out open to the side. Um, I don't know how many people have seen these things. This is a oh, horrible mess, but see I got two handles in here, right? See this whole chunk of bumper has come out, almost like a step. That actually stays on the tailgate, so. What it is, is, is what they call the two-way tailgate. So if I reach in here and I grab this, then that chunk of bumper stays in as a hinge. And see this hinge then turns a different direction. So it's got a two-way tailgate. So I actually, I think that's a really cool feature. I like it. If you're grabbing groceries, you know, it, uh, then you can reach back in the back and whatever. This one doesn't have the third seat that folds up out of the back. But so there's a real mess in here. Ah, man. But so this motor is actually, I put it together. When I was in the Navy, did the short block, put the heads on. I guess I did the long block, and then I just kind of set stuff together. And, uh, like, these runners were polished at one time, the dual port runners. So this is an 1835cc motor. But you can see how corroded it is from just sitting here all this time, how rusted the bolts and the... What? That bolt is loose. Maybe I just set the cylinder heads on? I don't know. One of the reasons why I say I gotta go through this thing. I got a, a, a used red line assembly lube. But uh, I want to make sure all the assembly lube has stayed in place and all the everything. And so I want to take this motor, pull it back down, clean everything up, make sure it's in good shape. And then, oh man, so I want to pull that all down, pull it apart, make sure everything's in good shape, cleaned up, put a uh, new assembly lube in it, and uh, 
get it ready to put on this Volkswagen pan over here get it up and running so here's the Volkswagen pan I've got the it's not a bus transaxle it's just a regular beetle transaxle it's got the independent swing arms on there it's uh somebody had replaced the floor pans at one point so they're not all rusted up all rusted out there's a couple of little spots up in the front where i need to kind of fix it up uh this whole i don't know what he was doing with this thing but all this whatever's left of the body i'll pull it off i've still got the brake master cylinder it's not a kingpin front end it's the ball joint front end but that's not too bad uh they do make a kingpin conversion kit if i felt like doing that but this one already has adjusters for the height um already put in there so that's kind of cool i won't really have to mess with that so it's just basic it's basic pan transmission shifts so that's good i've got the uh emergency brake it looks like a seat belt or something uh, yeah so pretty much what i really need is just the the pan that pan is good so here's the the doom buggy body so i don't know if it had some kind of a chrome grill or something on it but that gives a little freedom to kind of dress it up or whatever how i want to um i'm thinking about maybe instead of the kc doom buggy style lights actually getting like um, buggy lanterns or whatever and then putting new modern projector beam headlights or whatever in them i think that might be cool you can see all this metal flake that's still left on this body looks like somebody painted blue over it at some point looks like maybe it was like some kind of candy apple red metal flake uh it's not very big so uh, there is there's a few spots like here's a chunk missing you know but um i think one of the big spots is right up here this right here this is like paper thin So I'll have to fix that uh, fiberglass there I'll have to fix that uh, looks like there's a crack there there's a little chunk taken out of the corner there there's just like little things but I really don't think there's anything super major I think the worst of it is right back here over where the engine sits where it gets hot all the time you can see there's like almost like two layers in there i don't know if you can see that or not but those layers appear to have kind of delaminated in all the section where you can see the metal flake has all come off it's like a delaminated so i'm thinking what i'll do is maybe inject resin in there and you know compress it together somehow maybe screw some wood from both sides or something to just pull it together uh i think i'll glass in over this back side to fill in those holes because it looks like they had maybe uh ford mustang tail lights like maybe 65 or something tail lights on there or something and then i don't know what they had going on with these holes but you know, I don't know if they had like a luggage rack on the back of it or or what. But 
in all reality, it's not too bad. There's some fiberglass repair to be done on this part that bolts down to the chassis, to the pan. But really, it's not too bad. Uh, I think it's going to be really fun as a project. It'd be pretty simple. Volkswagen motors are really simple. Like I say, it's kind of like going back to my roots. Uh, I started working on air-cooled Volkswagens, you know, the bugs and buses, when I was like seven years old. My stepdad, I mean, that's what we had. Uh, and so he, we were always working on them. And so basically that's where I learned to work on cars, is on the old air-cooled V-dubs. But one, one thought that has crossed my mind is uh, I have I have this Subaru. I have this W. It's like I think a 04 WRX Impreza. So um, I don't know. It's a little beat up. It's not too bad. I got a whole bunch of parts since I got a whole exhaust and everything in there. Um, the motor's not in it. Uh, like I say, I got the long or the short block down at the hangar. Uh, the cylinder heads and stuff are all in the back of there. Turbo sitting in the floorboard over there on the passenger side. You know, um, it's a five speed manual. And um, I don't know why the heck I bought it. I, I wanted to try and build a factory 5818 at one point. And I thought, oh man, that's a good deal on that one. And so I scooped it up and then never ran right. And so I pulled it apart. I just been going through the motor and stuff, but I've been like way behind on everything. But I'm I'm half tempted to maybe try and cut this car down and just sell doors, bumpers, you know, sell everything off of it that I can. Maybe shorten this chassis down and then put like a roll cage chassis and fit it under that dune buggy body. I mean, leave this thing all wheel drive, shortened down with the dune buggy. Uh, I thought, man, that might be really cool. So, I may, I may uh, play around with some of the feasibility of maybe, maybe doing that with this WRX. But uh, we'll see. I might, I might not. But uh, it would be a ripper. I think if I did that, I might have to lengthen the nose, lengthen the nose out on that thing. Uh, like, I don't know, it might take kind of a whole redesign, but I suppose if I got that body all cherried out, I could actually use it as a plug and pull a mold, pull another one of those bodies out of that mold and then size it to fit on the Subaru chassis for an all-wheel drive dune buggy that might be kind of cool so i don't know <laughs> those are just kind of thoughts ideas things running around in my head i'm thinking i'd like to have it uh kind of a bright obnoxious you know just something that's really recognizable color i think dune buggies kind of that was the thing with them so you could be seen on sand dunes and stuff. Just kind of be bright and flamboyant and out there so that people could see you so you didn't blend in with any background. And so I'm thinking that might be the way to go with that one. And I think I need to get back on this one. I need to get the bodywork finished up. I did dent this corner panel down here pretty bad with that last burnout. I mean, besides destroying the motor, but I needed to fix that one anyway, so I didn't really care. But I need to get I need to get this big hole down here uh, cut out, replaced with the quarter panel from the other one that I cut apart. Then I I think I either need to get some full fenders or I need to actually try and get this uh, lower panel 
uh, fabricated from scratch. I made a pattern and I started making it and learning curve uh, on the metal fabrication part. But I don't know that this box for the heater fan is actually going to fit up there on the firewall. So I don't know. Maybe I can fabricate a box or something that will kind of fit in there and do what I want it to do or I don't know we'll see but uh, I'd like to have a heater in this car at least I can always roll the windows down in the summertime but I'd like to have a heater in the winter time if I want to drive it when it gets cold so I got to get on porting the head so I can put them on this motor uh, and then uh, yeah, I'd like to get this one running pretty soon. Have it at least just running, just waiting for things to go on later in the year. Hopefully we'll have more events this year that I can uh, try and get to and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it should be pretty easy. Volkswagens are so ridiculously simple. Um, it'll be kind of cool and fun to do that. I mean, heck, it'd be fun to even make a tube chassis to go under the dang body and, and do like a motorcycle engine or something. Almost like a cross cart or something. So, who knows. He's got other fiberglass bodies. So, I think he's got some uh, Manx Toads. The T-O-W apostrophe D. Toad, Toadster, whatever. I think he's got a couple of those down there. So, I might try and... Uh, maybe get another one from him get a toadster or something and uh that that'd be fun anyways it's getting chilly sun's starting to go down so i think i'm gonna go in kind of form a plan of attack on uh what i'm gonna do first i think first i need to get on the cylinder heads for the fire turd at least get it up and running that would be the thing to do, I think. Or maybe I'll jump on the... Nah, I'll, I'll jump on... I'll just stay focused on the Trans Am for now, I guess. Well, anyways. I don't know. Kind of wish uh, subscribers were picking up better or whatever. Uh, if you guys got any ideas, go ahead and shoot them to me in the comments. Like, subscribe, and uh, comment if you feel necessarily the urge to do it so till the next one